Hello you amazing hackers, hope you're all doing well. Today I have a ton of resources that I've gathered from live streams and from comments that you guys left behind. So let's get right into it, shall we? Now the first thing I want to show you guys is Ed Overflow's GitHub repository. Ed writes a ton of cool stuff on his GitHub repository. You can check out all of the repositories that he makes. I'm going to go over a few that he's created. So. The first thing I want to show you guys is a bug bounty sheet sheet that he's created. If you come here, you can look at each vulnerability separately. For example, cross-site scripting. You can open it up. You can look at some tips for that specific vulnerability. So it's really useful. I come here a lot and I use this resource often. The next thing I want to show you is can I take over XYZ, which is a tool that has been made for subdomain takeover. Also a really interesting tool. Um, now the next thing I want to do is contact.shell, which is a tool uh, which allows you to uh, find contact details for reporting security vulnerabilities. For example, security.txt files, hacker run directories. It will look at that kind of stuff. Um, there are installation guides on the repository itself. So I'll link all of these in the description below as well. <coughs> Now the next thing I want to show you guys is the proof of concept repository. And here you can find a ton of proof of concepts, like for example, cross-site scripting on hidden inputs, uh, on the password manager forms, paste checking, reflect, uh, reflected cross-site scripting, payloads, all that kind of stuff. Really cool if you guys are into that. Um, come check it out. Now um, the next thing I want to show you guys is detect secrets. Wow, this guy really has a ton of tools, don't you guys think? Now what the de Detect Secrets does is it'll uh, look through a code base and it will detect secrets, so that's pretty obvious. Um, it'll, pr it'll help you guys from... Uh, if you guys, for example, find uh, some code bases online and you can run those code bases, you can uh, add this to maybe find some vulnerabilities. It's more aimed at enterprises, but maybe it's useful for you as well. Um, now, the next thing I want to show you is from a comment. Uh, this is Param Spider, which is a really useful tool. I really like this one. I'll show you guys an in-depth guide about this one. What it does is it pretty much just finds hidden parameters. For example, it goes to the web archive, like Wayback Machine. It f tries to look for parameters on subdomains. Um, it can look to JavaScript files, that kind of stuff. So really advise this one. Uh, the next tool I would like to show you is Aquatone. I recently did a video, which I will link in the description. And for now on the card up as well, if YouTube doesn't decide to do away with those, <laughs> let's not talk about that too much. Um, Aquatone is also a tool that I really like. Um, it helps you make screenshots of massive lists of domains. So domain flyover is what they call it and what it's usually called. What it does, it is allows you to feed it a massive list of domains, thousands of URLs, and it'll help you, it'll start making screenshots from each domain that wherever possible. And then you can just manually go through the, all of the screenshots. Now, link in the description as always. And the next thing I want to show you guys is some repositories from Project Discovery. They've made some awesome tools, awesome stuff as well. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is Naboo. One of my subscribers uh, suggested this one, which is a port scanning tool that's written in Go. Now Golang is really fast and it's made for speed. So it's really uh, a tool that I would recommend if you want to scan a whole lot of ports. It's like mass scan. I don't know if there are a whole lot of differences. I haven't looked into it deeply enough, but it's a tool I'll definitely be looking into. Uh, another tool I want to show as well is Nuclear. It's uh, a tool that can be configured. It, it's massive, this tool. I'll have to look a lot more deeply into it because there are so much things that you can do with this tool. Um, again, link in the description. And the good thing is that they have a Docker image as well. So really interesting for me. And like uh, running Docker containers, by the way. Now, the next thing I want to show you is also by Project Discovery. Uh, this tool is called Subfinder. Subfinder is a subdomain finder tool. So one of my subscribers, again, left a comment. And I really like subdomain finders because 
the more subdomains you're able to find, the more deeply you're able to go into um, targets that have a star.target.domain.com. Um, the scope, so it's really interesting for me, all of these subdomain finders like sublister, subfinder. I think this is the more modern version of sublister. Somebody said this in a comment below. Thank you for leaving that comment. By the way, sorry, I I don't have a really good memory, so I forget your guys' comments when I'm making these videos, but I'll put them up on screen if I remember. My memory is absolutely horrible. <laughs> now, Shuffle DNS is a wrapper around Mass DNS. Um, Mass DNS is a tool for massively scanning DNSs, like it's said in the name, but uh, Shuffle DNS is a Go wrapper around that, so again, written for speed and you can enumerate valid subdomains a lot faster as well. Now what this will do is it'll brute force DNS servers, so it'll try to send a whole lot of requests at once, and it'll try to see which ones return a valid response. Now onto DNS Probe. DNS Probe is a tool uh, that's also built by Project Discoveries. It's built uh, on top of retriable DNS, uh, and it allows you to perform multiple DNS queries of your choice with l a list of user supplied resolvers. So you can pick your resolvers in this case and you can do a whole lot of DNS requests. Now something that, that Andy recommended, uh, and I, recommend, I remember Andy because uh, he's also in my Discord channel if you guys want to have a chat or participate in a CTF. We have a Discord channel in the description below which you guys can join, so feel free to. We always want to have more people. And he said whenever I'm stuck and I need a new nudge, I just go to the OSINT framework as well for some extra inspiration. And I really like the OSINT network. What you can do in here is just click on one of these items, for example email addresses. And then one of these extra lists will pop up. And if you want to, for example, email search, I want to know more about ways to search for emails. I can click it open and I can remember, oh, I can look at uh, that stem. I can look at mails hunt. I can look at mail DB, all that kind of stuff. So it's, it's really good for um, all of these tools. It's a collection of tools and it's easy to remember which tools you can use for what now. The next thing I want to uh, show you guys is GAU. It's a really cool tool. It allows you to fetch all URLs, so get all URLs. It's what it, it's what it stands for, and it gets them from Alien Vaults, Open Track, Thread in, uh, Exchange, uh, Wayback Machine, and Common Crawl for any given domain. Now, uh, Tom Nom Nom has made uh, a script Wayback URLs, as you guys can see, uh, and this script is based on that script. So I'm really interested to see how it works and I hope to make a video about it that goes a little bit more in depth as well. The last tool I have for you guys is Link Finder. This is a Python script made uh, that finds endpoints in JavaScript files. It's a little bit more recent than most of the other ones. Um, and as you guys can see, this one has been updated a lot more recently. Add Overflow made uh, a commit a few days ago and I would really recommend that you guys go check out this tool. Now I would like to thank you guys very much for watching. I will hope I see you in the next video and I'll see you later. Bye bye.